Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome to the inspirational part of my channel today. We are working at our 156 Bible challenge today, Deuteronomy 13. We are moving on. Hallelujah. Let's get ready and get started. I'm having ice water this morning. Let me know what you all are having. And thank you for a couple of people who did put down some prayer requests. If you have more prayer requests that you want to be heard, please let me know in the comments so we can pray together. And if you have an unspoken prayer request, those are prayer requests that's too personal to uh, talk about or comment about. Say, I have an unspoken prayer request. And guess what? God knows about it. And that's all that matters. Amen. And if you have a testimony, because God is still working miracles, he's still answering prayers, put that down in the comments as well. We want to hear it. Somebody may need to hear your testimony. Amen. Whether it's a love story, whether it's a healing from a sickness, um, uh, maybe you reunited <clears throat> with a loved one. Come on now. Give us those testimonies. And let's get ready and get started with our Bible challenge today. Amen. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and give us thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, since that's a small g, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proves you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because... He has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust, sorry, uh, to thrust thee out of the way, which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in. So shall thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. If thy brother, thy, the son of thy mother or thy son or thy daughter or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is it, which is as thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thy nor thy fathers. Okay. Amen. Namely, of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thy eye pity him, neither shall thy spare, neither shall thy conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thy hand should be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones, and he die, because he has sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. I mean, back then, before grace abound, which was uh, the, the birth of Jesus Christ, um, I'm telling you, it, 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 and it still is a, a strong sin to worship other gods besides the true and living God. Uh, but we're living in grace times uh, where we have the opportunity to repent and to turn away from wickedness. Um, God wanted his people to remain pure. And um, going into this land of Canaan, they, they destroyed people who was not pure, who was, you know, he, they did. And, and he's actually judging within their own community, though, in this particular chapter that, he, that he's cleaning up his own community. He's telling them, hey, make sure that these people do not taint your community. It, you know, God, I have brought you out of the land of Egypt. I've taken you out of bondage. Don't keep 
slapping me in my face over and over and over again. You know, that's that's what he's saying. And here's a quick summary. The Lord tests his people to see if they will worship false gods, prophets, dreamers, relatives, or friends who advocates worship of false gods will be put to death. Adulterous cities will be destroyed. Amen. <laughs> May God add a blessing to his summary. And please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, please hit the notifications bell if you haven't already. And like I said, if you have a testimony about something God has done for you, and just uh, real quickly put it in the comments. If you have a prayer request, it could be a, a unspoken prayer request. It could be a prayer request that you don't mind letting us know what your prayer request is. Just go ahead and put it in the comments as well. And uh, enjoy your day. And uh, right off the top of my head, like I said, if we don't have no other testimony that we can think of, we can thank God for waking us up this morning, for closing us in our right minds, for banning all those demons and devils as we slept. Thank God we're alive. Thank God everything is still intact in our households. Thank God we're in our right minds. Some people went to bed uh, last night and did not wake up this morning. So if you say you don't have a testimony, think again. Think again. Amen. Enjoy your Monday. Bye.